Hey Sevens, welcome back to our channel. I know I have not uploaded in forever, but we'll get to that another day. As to where I've been, what I've been doing right now, I'm simply doing a look where it's a one eyeshadow look, so it's very beginner friendly. I'm applying a illuminating booster to my skin prior to starting. Skin prep is very important, especially when you have uh, skin issues like myself, which is my hyperpigmentation, you will see me talk quite a bit through the video. You won't hear it, but that's because I'm recording this video while I'm going live on my TikTok. Please go follow me there uh, for quick before and afters and random tips. But um, nonetheless, I'm going to go in now with my Maybelline Master Prime. And it is a, it, it gives you like a blur effect and it's a pore filler, so... I'll be back in just a sec. I'm going in with my MAC Dark Deepest to just kind of set those products prior to me applying my foundation and it helps with keeping me a little matte. Okay, so what you're going to see me applying now is actually my Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. I'm gonna apply it all over my face as though I would a foundation simply because I could not find my go-to foundation which is my everyday foundation is Maybelline Fit Me. But you'll have plenty of videos coming soon to see the cover up or what the uh, coverage is i promise i can talk bear with me but i absolutely adore kat von d as well I do want to hop in real quick and say when you're applying your products especially like your foundation I think it's very important that I stress or say to stipple in your product if you see how I'm pressing the product into my skin it makes a very big difference for me personally um, especially so far as the coverage so that's why a lot of times you don't see me wearing or applying a corrector, it's because I stipple my products in and I do allow them to dry down slightly before I get started um, blending them out. So hopefully that helps somebody. It is concealer time. Oh, she was wrong for that. But anywho, you're going to go in now or we're going in now with the concealer of choice. Mine for this specific video is, again, Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. I will have the specific numbers listed below in the description box. I'm also using my flat concealer brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills or ABH, whatever you may know the line is. I, I absolutely love this brush. Now, I get asked a lot, how do you um, contour your nose so that it appears smaller? For me, I only, I prefer to focus on the bridge of my nose because it gets lost when I apply my makeup. I'm perfectly fine with my fat bell pepper nose. <laughs> but you just bring the concealer up higher on the bridges of your nose 
or the sides of your nose, uh, the slimmer you'd like for it to appear. And then you'll see here in a second, I'm going to go in with a dark brown. You can do this with a, a powder or a cream contour stick or just a brown foundation, a darker foundation, my apologies. Um, and you're just gonna go and outline the part that you're wanting to contour. So yeah. One of the most important steps about your coverage with applying concealer is allowing your concealer to dry down uh, slightly. Now, you don't want it to dry down so much that it's not able to move. My rule of thumb is maybe a minute or two. And again, that's depending on the concealer. So I don't want you to say, Summer, I waited a minute and it completely dried and I can't, couldn't do anything with it. Although I will have a video with a tip for that. So once you let it dry down to the time frame that you know creates it to be a little bit tacky, uh, and for those that may be newbies and not sure what I mean by tacky, it just looks a little thicker. And so the coverage is much better. I get asked so often, what do I use for my brows? I am one of those people that I feel like once you have down your routine of how you do it, what you do it with, it's important. It holds weight. It's, it has value to it. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like it's not as important as your technique or your process. So this day, I couldn't even find my actual pencil I like. I just grabbed a, a fat brown pencil, which was my preference for that day, this particular look, because it was closest to my hand. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm going in with my absolute favorite thing, which is a fluffy concealer brush. The name of this brush, I struggle times 10 to pronounce it, and I don't wanna butcher the brand's name. So the name will be below in my description box. You can also purchase a Real Techniques blending brush, concealer brush, it's a fluffy concealer brush at that, and blend out your products, and it blends out, blends out so seamlessly. Um, I'm not against beauty blenders or beauty sponges. I love them, but my preference for me, I've fallen in love with the fluffy concealer brush.
right, so now you're gonna see me go back in with that same concealer and just highlight under my brow. And I will go ahead and just drag that product all the way down, uh, even onto my mobile lid. And I'm gonna set it slightly with translucent powder. Specifically in this video, I used, I think it was Airspun. I know a lot of people may swear by Airspun, but guys, back in the day, I used Airspun for under my eyes and your girl was looking powder ashy, okay? Casket ready. <laughs> so I try to stay away from that, especially with my darker tone. Um, and right now you just see me going in around the uh, bridge of my nose to add to that contour so it won't get lost now that I've applied that concealer to my lid. And then from here, I'm gonna move on to Okay guys, I'm about to do my eyeshadow. And I picked up my James Charles palette, but the color payoff was negative 10. So I put that down and I grabbed one from my own line, a shameless plug, iBlushCosmetics.com. And I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid. And uh, I pack a little bit on and then I just kinda start to do windshield wiper motions as I slowly move up to blend it out so it's not a harsh line. Although there's nothing wrong with doing it with a harsh line, it's just not the look we're going for today. And I'm gonna repeat the same step on my other lid. All right, so I'm ready to start the process of applying my lashes. And what I prefer to use and love is Duo Glue, the white one. It dries down clear. And I always apply it to my lash line first, and then I go back and apply it onto the actual lash strips. And then I sit them down and allow them to dry down slightly. Y'all know that's one of my favorite steps. If you don't know, you will learn as you come and view my channel more. And so I allow that to dry down and then I get to doing something else.
I actually chose to grab a, a uh, pencil. The pencil is all gone, but it has a smudge brush or sponge. I'm not quite sure what you call it at the end of it. And I just take that and dab it into a really pretty shimmery shadow on the Crete Fall Collection palette that I have from my line. And I use it to highlight my inner tear ducts. I don't know what it is with me in this particular step, but girl, if I don't do nothing else, <laughs> I am going to highlight these inner tear ducts, okay? All right, so I'm popping on, I popped on one lash and now I'm gonna put on the other. If you guys would like, I can upload a video showing you just how to do your lashes. It takes me absolutely no time. I prefer to do it with tweezers, but this particular day, my desk was in complete shambles. I don't know where the heck those tweezers were. But luckily I had on slightly longer nails, so I just used it to go through the process like I normally would with tweezers. Okay, so I used my favorite highlighter is a shim a combination of two shimmery shadows in my palette. And if you be like, girl, that's too bright. Oh, well, I'm trying to be a glow stick. Disco ball in a wig. Whatever it is, I love it. I absolutely adore highlight and I'm going to apply it almost every single time unless I just absolutely can't find it or I don't have time. And I, I will try to make time even if it's when I park in my destination. Um, and then now I go in and smudge that same color underneath my line, my water line. Now this is not a must, but for me, one of my favorite things to line my lips with is a dark brown pencil. This one I think I use, I have this exact name to be sure, but it was a Ruby Kiss brown pencil. And I'm just outlining my lips with it. You can't even really tell because I'm so chocolate, but that's what I'm using. And then I'm gonna go in the middle or the center of my lips with Skin Lip Gloss from my also from my line. And that'll just be, I'm one of those girls that is extremely simple. When it comes to my lips, people have to request on my live, like do a color and then I'll slap it on. But outside of that, my everyday look are more nude colors on my lips. So, whoop, why did I snatch the head off like that? That flat head was not giving what she was supposed to give. Anywho, so I'm just going to brush out my wig. Well, this is the look for today. Hopefully, this video helps someone or entertain you to see me go from before and after. Um, either way, if you have any requests or specific videos you'd like for me to upload, just let me know. See, she was feeling herself. When she get to sing it for absolutely no reason and get to bobbing with that bob that was slightly stiff, 
she thought she was cute but thank you guys for watching my video and welcome back again to my channel this is our end look with the ring light on level 10,000 <laughs> don't forget to like comment subscribe any requests below thanks